Here we have a 1972 MGB Roadster that has got a brake failure and on checking the brake fluid level in the master cylinder there is no brake fluid and so we're going to remove these rear drums and just see because we can see there's some fluid and it's damp on the back of the back plate so you have two retaining screws one of them I've already taken out just take this other one out there's also a the adjuster on the back which is a quarter square drive sticking out the back of the drum so you just back that off and freeze the brake drum off and get that off and we can actually see that that's a bit wet inside and then look at the brake shoes and yeah we've got brake fluid on there so we'll just prise these off i've already taken this first spring off this brake shoe just pop the drum back on just to show you and then this one I'm going to take this retainer off this shoe and they have a slot in them so you turn it a quarter of a turn and that pops off carefully it doesn't fly off and there's the pin there so that's the pin the spring and the little retainer you can see with the little slot in it and a matching slot on the pin goes through there to a quarter of a turn and it locks into place so then we just Prise these shoes off here, just watch your fingers, get the spring off the back. It's worth taking photographs as you go along, and then you can see where all these components should actually go. And that spring goes on there. And then we'll just get this off that cylinder. Don't have to worry about the cylinder because that's what's causing the leak. And then we can see there's an arm on the back of here with a split pin, and it's easier just to clamp. That split pin, get it out. There's end cutters on here, just pull this split pin out. Then should be able to just work this cotter pin out. Again, a pair of pliers on here. It's probably a bit difficult for you to see, but that cotter pin there with a the split pin hole. Then that cut handbrake cable comes off there, and that just slides all the way out. And that's the rest of the components. It's really dirty where the brake fluid has been getting on there. And now we can actually disassemble this without struggling to do it on the hub. That's your brake adjuster. Make sure they don't fall out. And then we can get this new wheel cylinder, new set of shoes. Do the same on the other side whether it's been leaking or not because then it balances it up. And we've got two new wheel cylinders and we know we haven't got to worry about it.